Hey guys, in this video I'll show you six great accessories for wildlife photographers and filmmakers, which I like to use almost every time I'm out shooting. All these accessories was actually also used in my latest video when we were out spending four days filming and photographing the Shorty at Owl in the wetlands of Aunu. So let's just jump right in. First up is a foldable chair, just like this one. When you're out spending hours in the field waiting for that perfect moment, don't underestimate how important comfort is. Let's be honest, sitting on a forest floor in a field or somewhere else on the ground for many hours, that can be tough. A foldable chair provides you with a cozy perch and it isolates you from the ground, ensuring that you can stay focused and ready when the moment comes. I've chosen this chair because it's easy to attach onto my camera bag, it's not too big, and it doesn't weigh much. This one though has been uh, beating up, as you can see. I've duct taped it around the corners and the edges here, um, but there are tons of different chairs out there you can choose from. I can use it as a chair, but also when I'm laying down on the ground, I just unclick these and then it works just like a mat, isolating me from the ground when I'm laying down. So this is a really useful piece of equipment to bring along when you're out there. Next up is camouflage. To truly blend into the environment and minimize disturbance to wildlife, camouflage gear is a must have. Though it looks really silly, I admit that, dressing up like a bush, but at the same time, it's undoubtedly useful. Camouflage comes in many different variations, colors and forms, and you can get like suits, you can get blankets, gloves, hats, even like ghillie nets like this, which I really like to use when I'm out there. It comes in many different variations and uh, you can just use whatever fit you need. Or even go all in with a whole camouflage blind where you can sit inside like a tent. These accessories help you become virtually invisible, allowing you to observe and capture wildlife behavior undisturbed and get way closer to the animals. I've also covered my lenses with a camo cover since the zoom lenses from Somi comes in white, which really stands out unless you're shooting in snow, right? You can also get rain covers in camouflage colors, like this one, which is pretty nice when you're sitting out there in the rain and you want to protect your gear and yourself, of course, making sure you don't get wet and too cold. Number three, ear pods. Sometimes you have to wait for hours on end, sitting in the same place, just listening to nature around you and your own thoughts. Don't misunderstand me, that is really nice and I love it. But with a pair of ear pods, you can spice up the time with a bit of entertainment, which is something I've actually come to find quite useful. Whether it's listening to podcasts, music, or your favorite audiobooks, a pair of ear pods can help pass the time and keep you entertained during those long hours in the field. It helps me stay put after hours of waiting and not leaving too early when feeling a bit of doubt having no encounters. Often I just put in one of them so I can still hear what's going on around me. And while we're talking about it, can any of you maybe recommend me some nice wildlife or nature podcast? I would like that. Number four, a teleconverter. A teleconverter may be on the pricier side, but it's worth its weight in gold, especially for wildlife filmmakers, but also for photographers. I already made a whole video about teleconverters if you want to know more about it, but shortly explained. A teleconverter works by magnifying the focal length of your lens, meaning you get more zoom and you get way closer to subjects and that opens up a lot of opportunities with the animals, which otherwise was maybe too far away to be useful. But as it extends the reach, it also extends the aperture or f-stop if you will, so you'll need a lot more light when you attach this one to your lens. There are many different converters out there. I use this 2x teleconverter, which is a game changer for me when I'm filming, as it makes my 600mm into a 1200mm. But you can also use a 1.4x converter, which I've been told is more useful when shooting pictures. I haven't tried it though. Just make sure your teleconverter fits your lens, because they don't all do. And just to mention, a teleconverter is a small device, as you can see. So you can just have it in your pocket, so it's easy and fast to attach when needed without having to open up your camera bag to find it. And that's pretty nice. 
Number five, use an external monitor, just like this one. This accessory is mostly for filming, since it can be hard sometimes to see what's going on on the small screen on the camera, especially when you're filming with a teleconverter attached. With an external monitor, I can easily see what's in frame, if it's in focus or not, and it also helps me when I'm composing, getting me way more immersed into the shots that I'm filming. Many of these monitors have touchscreen and different options to help me out capture the shots. I like to use the histogram on mine to check the exposure and also the focus peaking to highlight what's in focus with a colored line around it. And I'm using the yellow color because I think that's the most easy to see. When filming in lock, everything looks flat out of camera. And on some of these monitors, you can add LUTs that helps you see what your shot might look like after post-processing it, but still capturing in lock, keeping all the details. I don't use that feature though, since I've got used to filming in lock over the years, but I've seen many other people use it. So a monitor is a really nice tool to bring along with you if your mission is mostly to film the animals. Number six, drinks and snacks. While it may not be a traditional accessory, having drinks and snacks on hand is essential for staying energized and hydrated during those long days in the field. Whether it's a bottle of water, a thermos of hot coffee, or maybe tea, some coffee tend to make you want to pee, right? Or some trail mix, some fruits or other snacks to eat on. These little treats of comfort makes a lot of difference out there. That's about it. I hope it was useful. Let me know which accessories you like to use when you're out there shooting. Thank you for watching guys and make sure to like and subscribe. Your support means everything. See you in the next one. Bye.